Hello and welcome to Rutland Water. In this release we show our cycle ride around one of the largest artificial lakes in Europe. We both started and ended our ride outside a branch of Rutland Cycling, the Giant Store, which was situated in the southeast corner of the reservoir. If you're ever looking for some well priced biking gear, then check them out online as they often have some competitively priced items. Well, that's their free plug out way. So, as I said, we started at the southeast corner and headed down to clockwise around the lake, and it took us around two hours to do the whole of the route. This is Normanton Church and it's a world famous landmark and it's on the banks of the reservoir. It's always worth grabbing a quick picture on your way past if you can. The paths that you ride on throughout this route vary quite a lot. It's a great experience if you've only ever ridden road or cycle paths before. A lot of the area around Rutland Water has had cycling in mind. They advertise numerous routes. A family route at 8 miles. The Peninsula Trail at 15 miles. The route we did, which is around 17 miles. And then the circular route that we did, plus the Peninsula part, for a total of 23 miles. Cheers. All of the routes allow you to experience some great scenery, mixed surfaces to ride on, and a good bit of exercise. As you ride around Rutland Water's perimeter, you will see a lot going on and pass a number of marinas, boatyards, villages, pubs, cafes and shops. Whatever part of the area you want to ride in, you'll find some great places to eat, drink or just explore. The route is so large and twisty and turny in some places that it's sometimes difficult to see which way to go next. There's people down there. However, it's not too long before we're back on the right trail. Oh, you don't think it's that way? You don't think it's that way? There are several places throughout the course where we have to try hard to climb the inclines without huffing and puffing too much. At least once you've huffed and puffed yourself to the top of the hill, there's almost always a descent to follow. Rutland Water is also a nature reserve with numerous habitats for wildlife. The site features a lot of woodland and you even get to ride through most of it. This video was shot on our first visit to this area and we were very impressed by the scale of it all and we do plan to return and do a little more cycling or walking or nature spotting in Rutland again.
hard work, wasn't it? Whenever the cycle route strays too close to the busier roads, there always appears to be a segregated or shared use path available to keep you off them. turn just before the bridge.
With the amount of long descents that we enjoyed, going anti-clockwise was probably the wisest choice, but next time we'll go clockwise and see if it's any easier or harder. So, let's have a look at the scores. As it took us just over two hours to ride around the reservoir, we awarded time taken and three wheels. The distance was 16 miles, so that equated to two wheels out of five. With a lot of undulating terrain, the occasional climb that could be challenging if you're new to cycling or being off the bike for a while, we awarded the overall terrain score of two wheels out of five. Although the terrain surfaces varied from road to forest, from forest to gravel and then to mud, none of it was tough to ride over, so we awarded technical difficulty just one meal. Despite the recent heavy rain, overall the ride was extremely enjoyable. A well-planned bike trail may be slightly difficult due to some of the undulating terrain if you are new to cycling or been off the bike for a while, which is what I've already said. However, the route aims to keep you off the busy roads on traffic free sections or on the quietest lanes possible and it's well worth visiting. We gave the overall score for the Rutland Water Route an impressive three wheels out of five. If you enjoyed the video then please like and share. You can follow us on our other socials to keep up to date with what we are doing. If you have any questions then you can ask them in the comments section below. And if you would like to see more of the routes that we ride then please subscribe. If you'd like to see another video straight away then please check out the ones on screen now. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay safe on those trails.